Join us in this episode as we uh, come up update this Court Park Elm broom style. Welcome back everybody. In this episode, we're gonna come and update this uh, cork bark elm broom style, or horakachi, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, elm really quick. Um, I got called out and they're actually, this is this the last time we saw this was about two years ago actually. Um, I did the initial cuts on these, um, on the main branches and then I wired some of the smaller branches up. This is about uh, almost two years later almost. Um, this actually was probably first worked on um, during the beginning of the pandemic. You can see right now, um, the root growth is actually spectacular so far. I'm gonna actually have to repop this really quick. You can see the buds actually just breaking, so it's about time. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is go back and then cut back the silhouette um, back into a, a really tighter nodes. Um, and restart that broom style again. I'm trying to get some really um, new growth that pops in the middle. So. Uh, let me turn the camera around. Let me get back to uh, repotting really quick. This is probably the last freaking repot this season. Um, we're getting pretty late, uh, especially the Zizia stuff. So yeah, let me get the camera around. Uh, let me uh, just repot really quick, and then I'll show you what I do. Um, just trimming this back, so getting ready for that spring push. All right. So here's some of that root mass. You can see um, I actually overwatered right here. A lot of that lakey bark is um, got wet and kind of rotted off. Um, that's something that you have to notice about a uh, cork bark elm, even any type that that's, has this really corky um, uh, barkage. That's, that's kind of the weakest point about that. Let me get some of the weeds out of the way. Um, and then that's where one of the sacrificial branches were at one point. This is the back. Um, it could be the front one day. I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to cut. You can see some of the butt breaks. So can you see some of the butt breaks? Yeah, you can see. The buds are really swelling at this point, and it's ready to pop. You see that's right about ready to pop there. So, yeah, let me uh, to get repotting really quick. I don't think you guys want to see me do that. And then, of course, this is all the um, shredded, uh, what do you call that? Uh, the spagma moss that was on last year. Actually, it was two years ago. This actually looks pretty good for two years old. So let me get that off, get it out of the way, and let me get going here. I just got it out of this pot. You can see how matted those roots are. You can, you can just pull it. You can. So what we're gonna do is there's a fine layer of roots right there. We're gonna. That's where we're gonna aim for. We're gonna probably remove the entire layer right there, and probably take about a third around that rim area. That's what we're gonna do in the next couple minutes here. Um, I probably won't do that on camera. Just I, I just need to get this done, um, and it's it's not too badly root bound so um, I could have waited another year on this one but it's already pushing up on that pot so um, something that I, I was kind of worried about that point so um, yeah so let me get going and let me finish repotting you see look it's like whole matter that that's healthy that's really good for that point so all right so let's not make a rookie's mistake make sure your tools are not in your repotting area make sure it's outside I've thrown away enough tools in my lifetime now to learn that lesson. Um, so cork bark, you're, you're going to have to hold it in kind of weird spots. So here's the, you don't hold the hold the trunk because it kind of loosens that bark. Here's the final product. I used the saws out to cut the bottom, uh, right where the sheen was. I just cut a little right below it. Still a lot of fine roots. This is all solid root mass at this point, and I'm gonna, I'm just loosen some of that edge work here at that point, and then. Um, Still pretty thick. Going back to the same pot, excuse me, over there. We're using the same pot, just kind of reorient the, the little screens. And I'm gonna plop that in and then I'll get going pretty quick here. Alrighty, so quick repot. And I just wire, I ran out of wire, running out of a lot of stuff, especially late, this late in the season. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut some of my branches in staggered heights. And then I'm trying to force new growth to come out again. And then um, that's where we're going to go. So in this case, you probably need a um, branch cutter. Branch cutter. And our goal is to make sure the nodes go up and out. 
So um, we're going to look at certain branch structures and see which give us the best uh, notes that are going up and out. And of course, you can always um, do what I do is um, do a quick shortening first. And then you can go back and do a final cut, um, just in case you don't like it. it. Happens all the time. At least it just starts you off. I'm just looking for uh, movement. Give me some taper. Oh, that's what I'm looking for right now. Cutting a small. Yeah, I gotta clean that up later. Why should be mad if I don't? All right, so let's take a look back and see where we can start shorten things a little more. Again, it's kind of a broom style, so. Um, Again, once I cut this, I repotted it, so it's gonna push out growth again. Um, we're just gonna keep an eye on it now. I'm gonna probably cut that much shorter. I'm just. Barely aggressive, you can see how far I'm pushing it back at this point. It's almost like restarting a whole tree line again. It's like fireworks, man. I would probably make it shorter. Okay, I'm watching where the these are alternating. Not opposite, which means I'm trying to cut to a no where it will go up and out. Um, and it won't go back into itself. And of course, this is a great time uh, to remove wire. That was the place in that stuff in. Now we can go short, probably. I'm being a little apprehensive here. How short I really want to make it go. I probably want to make that my new leader. To make everything secondary to it. Uh, I sub to it. If you Hold that. I'm just cutting everything back to a bud or a like a little node. That's what I'm looking for. And this is about two years worth of growth. So I'll just give you an idea of just on. Um, I let it go, actually. I did not trim anything back. I just let it go.
I can probably go shorter. It's like fireworks. I'm being fairly aggressive because I know this tree will respond and give me a, some new uh, starting point. See so yeah, how this is now, this is bigger than this one, so I'm going to shorten that one. See, I don't want that the dominant branch because it needs to go that way. So I'm going to save that branch right there. Ooh, that was a bad crush. Getting, uh, some time for the heavy duty tools. And you want to make these transitions really nice. I mean, that, that's the ultimate goal. Hmm. What do you guys think so far? I can keep it this silhouette and then wait for all the but pushes and select the branch I want. That's probably the uh, one that I'm probably gonna do versus um, cutting it really little, little nubs and then regrowing everything. Uh, I'm just gonna play it really safe um, for now. Let me back up so you can see a little more. That's what I'm, I'm working with. That was really straight, but it's fine. I want to get some um, some girth on this one. I want to make that my new leader. And that's a great that line. Hopefully it splits somewhere here. And then I can start pushing it back even further. Ideally, I want to make a branch like down here, but um, not make it too aggressive. We're still getting some cold here. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop here, I think. This is probably a good stopping point. So a quick recap, uh, repotter really quick. It was, it was not root bound yet, but it was getting to that point. Um, so I was, you know, I may just repot it, uh, cut, the, cut, cut it back to about the old spot and then a little deeper. Cut up all the long growth. You can see some of these really long growth, I mean really long growth. Um, and what um, I did is cut it down to a silhouette that I think will look really nice and then regrow some of these branches back out. Hopefully, um, ideally, this tree would probably be about this high, if you guys can see the high. It's probably about three feet. That's probably the, the canopy I'm looking at. Um, hopefully in spring, uh, well, it, it's already popping, so I know it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take off on me. So um, I'll come back another update a little later in spring um, when I push it back one more time or when I start doing butt selection. That's probably the next time I'll be updating this one. So thank you for uh, calling me out on this tree. And it's been two years. Um, so if you guys like the video, like and subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.